Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And on behalf of the people of Grace Church, welcome. We are honored by your presence. I want you to know that we'll do everything we can to be hospitable to you today. The, the purpose is to get people sitting with people who they, with whom they normally would not talk about these issues like domestic violence, the environment, poverty, hunger, healing, whether you're helping with people who are the bereaved or terminal illness or like Reverend Hall with Iraqi and Afghani veterans or people suffering from substance abuse veterans um, as a chaplain. So to sit with people with whom you wouldn't sit and also of another faith or ethnicity and have a conversation in a little more open fashion. Too often Someone inspirational who has a story to share, uh, a keynote. And now we're on to learning who everyone at the table is. We've got, I, I think, about 15 tables, 130 people. Uh, and people have gone around and paired up. Uh, everyone being able to say who the other person is by name, maybe something about their name. Um, this year's topic, we ask people to talk about what home means, because home is a place you feel safe and secure. And having expressed that, we've asked people to demonstrate the skill of active listening by being able to, as Marsha would say, reflect, or I would say reiterate, to be able to share the words uh, as closely as possible back, but to do it in a way that demonstrates you understood, you felt what the person was trying to say to you. Um, and now we have uh, different leaders at the tables with text traditions, sharing some of those texts, whether they're from the Torah, the New Testament, the Quran, uh, or any other document that might be brought in from any other faith tradition or cultural tradition, teaching something about that tradition's attitude toward compassion in action. Understand the true value of a shared people, because that is our history and that is our future. And if we don't actually come to the discussion wanting to recognize that that is fundamentally our future and overcoming these sort of difficult moments of judgmentalism, um, and rather recognizing its root, its root in curiosity, um, then you're not going to be able to get to that final place of action. So dialogue is about taking responsibility for how we speak, what we create, and listening, simply listening to you, and not judging you, and saying, you know, there's beauty in what you say. I don't have to make mine better. We are all on this, we are all doing our different journeys in the world. I need to respect your journey and only ask that your journey respect mine.